Hey guys, so this week's project, I know it is so behind and I know I look kind of funny. I have my desk lamp on so you can kind of make my face bright. I'm sitting at my desk. Hopefully we'll get this, I'm going to get this up today. But this week's project is your entryway. Um, your entryway is very important because it's the first place you walk in into your house. And it's the first place that you go. So it needs to be organized. So if your entryway is organized and it's not cluttered, then the rest of your house can flow nicely, not be cluttered, be clean, and just look really pretty. I'm sorry for the delay in posting this video. I know I've had a hectic week. I've had a hectic actually couple of weeks. And I'm really hoping to get started back in the groove of getting things done for this channel and getting more content up and posted. I am going hopefully going to start tweeting a little more often and Instagramming more so you guys can go and see kind of the process of how I do things. So without further ado I'm going to show you my entryway before and I'm going to show you my entryway after and I'll come back and chat with you up at the end. Okay see you in a bit. Guys, <clears throat> so this is our entry actually when you come in the house like I said we got garage door front door <coughs> closet door so when you come in let me do this when you come in you kind of see this so this is our little entry wall so right now we've got this little six cubed gizmo that we use um, I'm actually thinking this basket's going to go in here. It's where we library books so they don't get ruined. And shoes are in that one so it kind of looks kind of weird. And then you come in and you've got this space here, this space and a giant picture. So let me kind of explain to you what I think. This is going to be moved someplace else get a longer hooks for here this is going to be rearranged because we have to make this a good place to hang backpacks and coats and our coats because the coat closet which is right here is also where we store our vacuum cleaners and stuff in here so we can't have too many coats so yeah that's and we can't put anything in here because we don't have enough space so yeah, so that's the before of our entryway and I'll catch back with you guys at the end of the two week project and kind of show you bits and pieces of what's going on and I will talk oh to you God, later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm sorry I know it's super dark in here but the, it's dark outside, bad lighting, but this is our after entryway so here we go. So as you can see, we still got our lovely doors can't really do anything about those right now we have a three hook thing here it's our old one that was in the main entry waste spot so it gives us a little more hanging space here I need to put this coat away but as you come in this is still turned like it's supposed to be and we do have a library book in our library book basket pictures been moved over the kids hook is up and looks really nice and there is still room down here to put like shoes or something and this spot is still missing its hooks that's supposed to go here Walmart has been out and they have not had any more in so I can't do anything uh, my purse which is this is a Louis Vuitton um, this is hats and mittens are in here so we're ready to go I have to get some new hats um, I have a pair of slip-on shoes here I like to keep here. The bottom space is empty. This is reusable shopping bags and this could be it's like car goodies that we need to grab on our way out for the car. So this is where I put my purse and stuff when I walk in and it helps it stay organized and clean. So and our coffee and our coat closet. We have kids coats on one side, we have our coats on the other, and we have our vacuum cleaners and stuff and our little step ladder right here in the middle. The top shelf could use some work, but we don't really get in here all that often for stuff on the shelf. 
it could use some work. It's got a flashlight, duct tape, some stuff that we should have returned to Lowe's but never did. Because we don't can't find the receipt. So yeah, I'm pretty much that's pretty much it. And there is a map here, which should be underneath here. Sorry. Yeah, I got a new map. So these are old ones though, but this one's a large print, so I love it for playing trips. This is another hat and mitten basket. We have it up here. So this shows to prove you I'm not perfectly organized and tackling this inside this closet is probably something I need to do. But I haven't yet. So, well, actually I should probably, while I'm standing here, I'll do this right now. This needs to go downstairs. This is the hood to my coat that I don't usually use. These are my cheap gloves that I have. My hat and scarf, which are hand, these are handmade for me by one of my relatives. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is one that I am not going to keep. It's going to go to Goodwill, and this is one that's going to be sold. So now I'm going to take this basket, because I'm probably going to put my hood somewhere else. And I think I'm going to corral. This needs to be seen if it actually works still. So yeah, and since this stuff is not going to go back, it's going to go out in the garage. But yes, I need another basket up here. But that I got at Marshalls and stuff, and I haven't really found another good one for up here yet. That's just an ongoing project. So yeah, that was my entryway. See you guys. Oh, pff, sorry, forgot. Uh, if you have forgot to tell you, if you have ongoing project spaces like this that need assistance. A lot of the times because things just end up being piled in here getting baskets for them to put together stuff in is probably the best bet because then you at least it'll look clean when somebody opens your door so that was my little tip on random closet shelves that you know you're wasting a lot of space There's a lot of space wasted up there so yeah I'll talk to you later bye Hey guys, so that was my entryway. My hair is being crazy today. That was my entryway. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope you guys got a few tips and tricks on how to organize your entryway, especially if you have a weird wonky entryway like we do. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you can hit me up on Twitter. Um, you can comment down below. You can send me a message. You can do whatever you want to do. If you have any questions for me, um, most of the stuff that we had that we used, sorry, but I need to throw this in. Most of the stuff that we used in our entryway, we already owned in our own house. I only, so far I only bought in one thing. I'm working on buying the second thing. They're the new um, hooks that I put up. The big hook that was going to go up by the picture, it is, it has not been at Walmart in like a couple weeks and I can't seem to find it and they don't have any in right now. So once that gets in, I will show you what it is. It's pretty much exactly the same, except it has a different style of hook than the little one does that our kids' coats and backpacks go on. So that's all that's really going to be different. So stay tuned for our next challenge, which we're going to tackle. Um, I'm tackling the living room because that's the room that you come right when you walk in. Is you kind of there's a little entryway, and then bam, there's our living room. So I'm going to tackle the living room this week and show you a few tips and tricks on how to keep it organized and looking clean. And then I think after that we're going to move on to the dining room. So keep your eye out for those and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.